Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today, this video is going to be solely about my scoring machine for NBA 2K20. I've been getting a lot of comments from people saying, yo, we want to see the scoring machine build. Uh, we don't see a video for it on your channel. So I've decided to solely dedicate this video to my scoring machine. I've even got crazy comments like, yo, what's the best build for my career? Because I don't play online. I don't play parking. I don't play rec. So I want to know what's the best build for offline play. Now, it's crazy for me to even think about that because I was just going over it in my head like, hey, what is the best build? And I was just thinking to myself like, you know what? Not only is the score machine great online because it can do everything but also it can do everything against the cpu which is break ankles dunk on them shoot over them and defend them so without without anything else man let's just go ahead and get into the build let's get it popping they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems i solve them i run through the money the pressure be calling left on my blessings i feel like i'm falling the birdie is back tell me i'm garbage i'm going through something that's why i ain't calling phone and progression is all that i wanted the phone and affection i summon and double because they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems i solve them i run through the money the pressure be calling hey man real quick before we get into the video man go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now the goal right now is 650,000 subscribers i do want to get to a million subscribers but right Right now we're gonna go ahead and take it slow and it starts with you guys man hit that subscribe button right now so first things first there are a lot of builds on screen right now i know i'm kind of hiding them because you know i got them brolic shoulders you feel me but listen all these builds that i have man i, I really do like all of them except the prospect build we'll never talk about that build ever again but i do if i do get the legend i will max this build out i told you guys that in another video but we'll leave that for another one man but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into my player launcher show you guys the whole creation and then we'll actually look at my iteration of the scoring machine so the first thing that you guys want to do is go ahead and launch the my player builder um you want to make this player a point guard please do not make it a shooting guard because if you do make it a shooting guard you will lose out on badges i've tested it and it's confirmed if you make it a shooting guard you will not earn as many badges as you should um you guys already know why i picked the number 15. Now, as far as the pie, you always want to go shooting and slashing pie. If you don't choose a shooting and slashing pie, you will not make a scoring machine, okay? So we're going to go ahead and choose that pie. As far as physicals go, this is one of those builds where you want to kill people as much as possible because you are a slasher. That is your mainstay. That is why you are here on earth. So please do not pick the most agility pie with a little bit of strength and vertical you want to come down for that agility and vertical pie okay i know a lot of people are going to say man that speed ain't looking too good i pod i don't like it the reason why this build is so good at what it does is because you will blow by your defenders no matter how fast you are i do it all the time not only that the dribble animations that i'll show you guys a little bit later will give you that boost of speed that you will need now, when creating this build, you have 433 attribute upgrades remaining. The first thing you want to do is go to shooting. You want to max that out. I know what you're thinking. Why max out shooting? Because your pie is shooting and finishing. You need to max that out so you can get the most shooting badges possible for this build. The next thing you want to do, you want to come down. You want to give interior defense a 41. Do not go above that. You want to max out perimeter defense, max out lateral quickness, and max out steel. Now, we can move on. You want to go to ball handle and max ball handle out, okay? Then come over to pass accuracy. You want to put pass accuracy on 80, okay? The reason why I'm telling you guys these intricate numbers is because if you don't do this right, you will create a different build, okay? So what I'm giving you guys is the actual scoring machine attribute layout, okay? Now, you want to come up. You want to max out your layup max out your driving dunk you want to go ahead and put your close shot on 88 okay you guys listen to me 88 all right do not put it on anything higher all right and the rest you want to put into your defensive rebound okay that means i know it hurts man 40 attribute points going into defensive rebounding i know that it sucks and you know you're like oh i could put that somewhere else i can max out my pass accuracy get more playmaking badges maybe you know what i'm saying let me matter of fact let me just show you guys what will happen if you did want to max out your playmaking and only have one defensive badge you'll have 17 playmaking badges i know that seems like oh my god that's so crazy 
but it, it really doesn't matter guys that those those extra badges are really placebo you're not a playmaking build you're not you shouldn't be throwing oops with this build okay there's a lot of people out there that say it doesn't matter oops give you the most rep ah ah i feel like if you're not a playmaking build and you can't benefit from the most with that playmaking pie and throwing those oops you shouldn't be throwing oops this build right here should be on the receiving end of oops okay you can still get good rep you can still catch lobs and you can still be efficient okay so as you guys are looking at this right now i have no more attributes i'm going to go ahead and pause the screen real quick you want to have an 84 speed 82 acceleration 56 strength 91 vertical 15 finishing badges 21 shooting badges 12 playmaking badges and eight defensive badges and i know what y'all thinking man but i'm a finisher i need i need more badges for finishing this is bull crap why don't i have more finishing why do i have so many playmaking badges the reason for this guys is that this build will be able to speed boost it will be able to dunk on people and it will be able to shoot over people so whether you like it or not this build is amazing just the way as it is created so remember close shot only put it to 88 pass accuracy only put it to 80 interior defense only put it to 41 everything else you can max out all right now let's go ahead and continue me when i'm creating guard builds i always go with compact yes you can still have a six pack but you won't look burly you won't look like you're too defined you won't look like a uh, uh larry johnson at six five okay now a lot of people out there will say hey i like the stats the way that they are they're pretty cool where they are but at six three you will create a different build you won't create the scoring machine okay at six four i know you guys probably like these stats these stats looks really good i can tell you guys it's a, already a confirmed fact i've already tried it out you can create a six four scoring machine so if you do want to be six four I have no problem with that but what i chose for my build i chose to be 65 the reason why i chose to be 65 is because taller players have a better advantage at this game i don't know why but defensively you just feel like you can hold your own you can bump people all of that so what i did was i went 65 okay as far as my weight went I took it all the way down because I wanted my lateral quickness to be a little bit better. I really didn't care about my interior defense as well as I need my acceleration and my vertical to go up. I didn't really care about strength too much. Strength really doesn't matter in this game. Okay. Now, wingspan. This is where a lot of people go wrong when creating this build. I'm going to tell you guys the wingspans that you need to create a scoring machine and you can go from there. Never, and I repeat, never make your player minimum wingspan if you make him minimum wingspan he will not be a scoring machine okay now let's go ahead and go over real quick now 78.0 78.9 and sometimes even 79.8 is good but it's really not good as 78.9 and 78.0 and the reason why i say this is at 78.0 you have a 83 three-point shot and an 81 ball handle, okay? If you put it to 78.9, you have an 82 three-point shot and an 81 ball handle. That means you're golden. I know a lot of people are looking for that 82 ball handle because they want to go ahead and get that ball handle up to 86 as fast as possible. But if you make a minimum wingspan, he won't be a scoring machine. So go ahead and make it 78.0 and go ahead and get your ball handling up. You get five plus five once you get the 95 to 99.9 .9. so you still will be able to speed boost and all of that but dribble moves you get the best dribble moves in a game and i'll show you guys those in a second now as soon as you press x this is where things get a little crazy for me myself my scoring machine i chose the slashing takeover the reason why i chose the slashing takeover is because the slashing takeover boosts all of athleticism that means it makes them faster jump higher um he can dribble better he can shoot better i don't know what it is about the slashing takeover but it is literally the best takeover for a scorer in this game now if you do pick the spot up shooter you will have some of the craziest animations i have ever seen in this game from the three-point line when you shoot that ball your animations are godly 
but that's all that you can do when you get that spot up shooter all you can do is get great animations when you green a three but i'm telling you now if you get this takeover people will be chasing you all around the three-point line because they don't want you to hit a shot shot creator i really think this is the lowest uh takeover of the tiers for this bill because with a shot creator yeah you can hit moving shots yeah that's cute and all but really nobody wants to do step back uh mid ranges and step back threes and moving threes and moving mid ranges and all of that yeah that's cute but you may crack somebody with space creator yeah but i really don't feel like it's fire you know what i mean i think it's the lowest tier now playmaking playmaking if you get this takeover with this build you will be able to drop people and when you drop people the world is yours you can shoot over somebody else that comes up to help you can dunk on somebody that may be in the paint and you've already broken multiple ankles honestly this is a fun takeover but it's not the best i still like the slashing takeover because you can still break ankles because you have a couple playmaking badges okay so don't get too caught up if you want to break ankles go ahead but i like dunking on people and making people pissed off at me because i could shoot from the hash when i got a slash and takeover and plus the slash and takeover honestly it makes people think that you can't shoot especially if you're on the court with a player that doesn't have defensive leader on hall of fame if your team if your teammates know that you can shoot and the defensive uh guys know that you can't shoot and and it's like they're looking at you like oh that dude can't pull from there you green it it changes the game so now guess what they got to play up on you you blow by them and you kill whoever's in the paint trying to defend the paint it's so fun all right so my player builder is complete uh, like I told you guys, I have built the scoring machine. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, you guys already see it similar to Derrick Rose, Jamal Murray, and uh, Goran Dragic. But what I want to do is I want to show you guys what this build actually looks like at a higher overall. So let's go ahead and go into my career and I'll show you guys my scoring machine. All right, y'all. So I'm at the park right now, man. Yes, I am a superstar three. I've been grinding low key. I haven't been really making it my business to grind like crazy. But um, let me show you guys my progression first. Um, I do have all my badges for this build. These are my badges. I get a lot of contact dunks with these badges, man. Uh, slithery finisher is really good because you don't get any contact when going to the rack, especially if you use behind the back move that I'm going to show you guys in a second. And you kill people with contact finisher, man. And relentless finisher just allows you to keep dunking on people all game long um as far as my shooting badges catch and shoot i tell people this all the time it's really a placebo it's just literally boosts if i'm catching the ball at the hash but everything else here all these other hall of fame badges they make this bill go crazy i mean absolutely crazy and you want to know the funny thing about this guys if i took off all these badges and put them down to gold and took off catch and shoot I could have two more gold badges and I could just have gold badges across the board. Either way you like it, it's up to you. Me, for the jump shot that I use, I need quick draw on Hall of Fame. Some people use base 98. Some people only use quick draw on gold with that build because it's so fast and the timing is hard. But listen, I'm telling y'all, that's all you need. As far as dribbling badges, I told you guys, this build is not a playmaker. This build is all about self. I feel like to me, unpluckable really just doesn't work. Um, I know that people do spam it and sometimes get it, but I feel like the rest of these badges, quick first step, handles for days, space creator, tight handles, all on gold makes you insane. I, it literally makes you insane. Now defensive badges, the reason why I went with eight defensive badges is because when you're defending, you can clamp people up. You can intimidate people in the paint at the three point line from the mid range, wherever. And you can chase down block people without even having a good block rating. If you guys notice in the creation, I didn't put anything to my block, but chase down artists and rim protector just on bronze gives guards the ability to be a mini LeBron. And that's whether you just got um, screened on the pick and roll and now your guy is fighting around the screen and ready to dunk, you can chase him down. Cause you know that the hop step about to come. You Everybody knows when hop step animation is coming. So you can even wait for that. Or if you think they got a clear lane and they think you ain't about to block it, you chase them down and block it every time. Well, not every time. I would say 80% of the time. But literally one block when it's 19 to 17 on twos counts for a lot. All right. Now, uh, let's go ahead and go into my animations because y'all been going crazy. What's the animation? 
I want to know your animation. So as far as shooting animations, I'm telling you guys right now, these are the best animations in the game besides post hops, po uh, post shimmies, and post shimmy hooks. Hooks three is cheese. Post phase three is cheese. Hop jumpers is cheese, and that's because you can crack ankles with Space Creator if you don't go up with the shot. Spin jumpers with Lance Steven, cheese, you can crack ankles. Dribble pull ups, cheese with Steph Curry. You might have to change your badges around a little bit, but it's cheese. Michael Jordan free throw in a wreck is cheese. It don't matter what build you got, you, you're gonna make it. Dribble styles, a lot of people want to know my dribbles mainly because they think iPod is an old head, he don't know how to dribble, but when they see me in a park and I'm getting past them, I'm breaking their ankles, stuff like that, they always ask me, yo, what's your dribble? So, dribble style Kyrie, uh, size up package Curry, moving crossover Pro 2 Plus, that allows you to do that little dribble glitch, uh, the between the leg all the way down the court joint. Moving behind the back Pro 5 is my favorite because when I do that move at the three-point line and I get into that lane, I'm killing who's ever at the rim. Moving spin four uh, for pro four is pretty good to me. Um, moving hesitation pro three, you already you already know what pro three do. You know what I'm saying? You can cancel it and speed boost out of it every time. Uh, triple threat, I got normal eight on. All right. Um, you stand up a little bit more. You don't be hunched over. Layups. The reason why I have default swing on and not long athlete is because I like the animations from default swing. It makes you take layups like you're a small forward. That means you take better contact with these layups. Dunks, I got Zach Levine first because his Tomahawks always kind of result into a contact animation for me. I have Russell Westbrook on because I use his two-hand dunk, and that's the cockback snatch back joint. It just looks mad aggressive. A lot of people kind of move out of the way, and it gives you a, a flying animation to the rim, just like quick drops off one. Um, dunks from the baseline, these are the only two that I use. And I have athletic front tomahawks if the Zach Levine doesn't trigger. So if I go up with my left hand on Zach Levine and I'm thinking like I'm about to get a Zach Levine animation and I don't, at least I have athletic front tomahawks with my left hand if I don't get a Zach Levine animation. Sometimes I may catch a Westbrook one, but really Westbrook ain't nothing but Zach Levine mix with athletic front tomahawks anyway. So I kind of get the best uh, bang for my buck. Um, I, I don't think you guys really worry about these type of things except for like my jump shot landing I had peekaboo peekaboo is supposed to give you some fire jump shot landing uh, Percentage for green. I'm just gonna leave that at that. That's it guys Um, I think that I have given you guys everything that you need uh, For the person out there that commented. I need a great build for my career this build will be great for you. For everybody else that want to kill people online, whether you want to dribble, shoot, or slash all over people and never have to worry about, oh, am I going to make it? Am I not going to make it? This build is perfect for that. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out there that um is asking me about my two-way uh, slash and playmaker. I'm using that build for a rep. You know what I mean? This build right here, the scoring machine, is my having fun build. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that like button already, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, turn on notices, and I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments any video that you guys want me to make because, hey, I ain't got nothing else to do besides sit in the crib. So why not make videos? And also, tune in on Facebook for all my streams. Peace.